Let's, uh, I want to start at effect vocals and, and kind of work our way back. A lot of automation, a lot of things coming up in volume, like. That was one of the notes from the original. They said, we really want that delay to pop out when he finishes that part, so. So just a ton of automation kind of pushing that up. It's more so you just got to get it heard. Just cleaning out some mud, boosting some presence to get it out in the front. And then a uh, little bit of a limiter to just, again, stick it in place so I can automate it up. We actually have a lot of effect tracks on here. That's during the verse. I actually didn't do any processing to that. It was printed. One thing I will say with vocals, you really want to just clean out the mud. Any of that low end rumble, anything there, anything in the low mids, you just want to kind of get that out of the way. The reason I like LA-3A on some of the backing stuff or effect stuff is that to me the LA-3A sits in a different level. So like in 1176, I feel like the vocal gets right up here and if it doesn't, you can add other things to make it do that. And LA-3A to me is more like kind of parked back, but you can still hear things. They just don't jump to the front. It's kind of like in the middle of the mix, you know, if you're thinking depth wise. So that's why I have this LA-3A and it's, again, it's so simple. It's two knobs. It's gain and gain reduction or peak reduction. A lot of these tracks are, are pre-processed and printed and the, those are the ones you got. So I didn't, decide to process everything. I only processed certain things that I thought needed it. So that was printed. This, this would be a case of where I think what they gave me was really mangled and torn to shreds. And that was tough making that work in the mix because it, while it's cool, it's not the same way I would have done it. We're just doing simple EQ there. Tilt. This is a great plugin. Essentially what this does is if you look like on FabFilter or something, you have a, a graph and you have that line and you can boost and cut within that line. Tilt takes that line and shifts the whole thing like this or this. So if you have something that's just needs to be brightened up, but you don't want to like boost it and hear the peaks of things. This is just like leans it. Really cool plugin. I use this on guitars all the time, not on this session, but on other sessions. So put a little bit of the tilt to kind of get it out in the front a little more. And I just thought it was mega harsh. So I have this plugin called Soothe and it, uh, finds all the harsh stuff and gets it out for you. It's kind of life-changing. There's a synth doubling that up. This I'm cutting here because I want to get it out of the way of the vocal, but still have it support it. And then, yeah, we're really just filtering this thing. These are the harmonies. We're not boosting anything on these. I think I, think I already thought they were like harsh enough. And uh, just an 1176 with my favorite settings. Attack right in the middle, release as fast as it can go, ratio four. That's kind of giving it its sound. And then after that is Arvox. This is a really cool plugin to get things out in the front. And this is a really simple plugin to use as well. You can just pull the fader straight down and all it does is just push it in the front and it also adds a little bit of low end oomph to it. So those are just the harmonies. I kind of wanted them to stick out on the sides. We got doubles. Those are processed the same way, but just pan different. I think I kept some of the panning schemes that they already had just because I wanted them to be happy and, and have it the way that they wanted it, you know? And this is Decapitator. This is so cool for screams. I'm gonna play it with and without. This is without. It just really brings it close, adds some really sick harmonics. It's a great plug and I use it on everything. I use it on drums sometimes if I'm going for that like effect sound. And with this, it's so simple. I literally just started at zero, turned it up till I thought it was cool and that's it.
didn't touch anything else. Nothing really has to be difficult. Like just because you didn't tweak something for a half hour doesn't mean it's not the right move, you know? I just threw that on. I know it works and it was awesome. Again, we have Arvox on here and I don't always I use- I really like that plugin. What, Decapitator? Arvox. Arvox? Well, Decapitator too. Yeah, it's awesome. I use it on like strings too sometimes, but uh, yeah, I don't always use this on mixes, but for his vocal, I was, I was looking for some more of that low push just to get it a little bit more close and that's what it did. On this, we're gonna do uh, Crane Song Phoenix, which is a tape emulation. I showed you guys this earlier on drums. Dark Essence, which is the darkest setting, and Opal, which is the darkest setting. So this is really gonna make it super round, so I'll show you without it. So you're really getting that low mid, like just you feel it in your chest. It's kind of smoothing things out and just making it bigger. This is a really cool plugin. I definitely think people should, uh, if you have Pro Tools and you have access to this, you should definitely get it. So we have the main vocals here. These are pretty crazy, so. I don't mind the darkness, it's easy on the eyes. This is kind of straightforward for what I do. Doing an L1 on this one, kind of the same setting I used on bass, just to keep it in place. And I'm driving that into the 1176. Got a little bit of Arvox, so again, yeah, I, I compress vocals a lot with a lot of different things. And we're, we're going with the uh, Phoenix, and we're going a little bit brighter on the luster setting, and then uh, neutral on the top end. And, and I'm telling you, this thing, if you wanna make vocals sound huge and, and kick through the mix, this is the plugin to do it. And so those are the main vocals. We have them routed to some different effects. I don't mind the darkness, it's easy on the eyes. Probably just a preset that, that I had sitting around for this vocal verb. Got some Echo Boy. I don't mind the darkness. Usually just try to find a delay that's kind of different on each side so that it's stereo and wide and out of the way of the vocals. I think the biggest thing with vocals is you want to make sure that the delays don't go down the center. I mean, you can do it as an effect for something, but I, I like to keep it out as far as possible and keep that vocal as dry as I can get it in the center. One other trick that you can do that's really cool is the pre-delays. If you turn those up, what it does is it creates distance between the reverb and the vocal. And so if I have them down, like closer to zero, what's gonna happen is the vocal is gonna go away from you and kind of sit with that reverb. But if you turn the pre-delay up, it almost makes it like a delay where there's that gap of silence between when the reverb hits. What that does is it keeps the vocal right up in the front, but then you have that ambience, it doesn't feel so terribly dry, you know? So that's a really cool thing for uh, you guys to experiment. And the coolest thing about all these vocals is the fact that I'm going to this wacky, crazy bus thing that I made with this. I have this API 2500, which is re really cool. I don't normally do it this way, but I just put it on there. And I guess the best way I could explain it is because there's all those effects and all those things coming out of the sides and harmonies, doubles, reverse reverbs, all kinds of stuff. I just find that having the bus compressor on this pulls everything to the front. And that was the goal with this mix is to get everything heard vocally. Added some EQ here to all the vocals. This is hitting all of them. Again, trying to get that presence, trying to get the vocals to the front. This is a really cool plugin. It's very subtle, but yeah, 18K shelf. We're just going for air. Can't say enough about this Phoenix plugin. And this is pretty much the same setting I used on vocals, a little bit less of the process, but everything is hitting this. So that's how we're getting this crazy upfront vocal sound and I'm running the bus really hot. I think it's clipping a little bit. You don't normally want to do that, but if it works, it works. And if it sounds good, then cool. I mean, that's, that's my rule, but normally I don't send the vocals to the bus. 